text. Tragedy strikes. Accidents happen. Be there when the calls come in. It's back-to-back -back episodes of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Today on Rescue 911. Plus, I was desperately looking for a place with more air. A cave diving adventure turns deadly for two South American divers on Rescue 911. <laughs> On July 13th, 1991, some friends set out to explore an underwater cave in the jungles of Corimagua, Venezuela. But the map they had of the many chambers inside the cave was incomplete, leaving some unanswered mysteries which they hoped to solve. The expedition was led by 32-year-old Gustavo Badillo. Gustavo's fiancée, Maria Elena Mendoza, had also come along. I was never too happy about the idea. I had my second thoughts about going to the cave. And I didn't like the jungle. But Gustavo said, I won't go if you're not going. So I said, okay. Their destination was located deep inside the rainforest, so they did not arrive until just before nightfall. Park ranger Asmel Palencia had been hired to guide them to the place called Acarite. The truth is, I was afraid because I've never entered into that cave. There are stories where they say he who enters that cave gets lost never to come out again. Gustavo planned to dive with his friend Eduardo Wallace, although neither of them had been trained for cave diving. Before going to the cave, we went over the original map that we had. We were not concerned about any danger. I was more and more scared. They had the suits, the mask, but they didn't have special equipment. They needed to have to go in the cave. So I said, well, then take this prayer and keep it with you. We didn't have a cave dive reel, but we had different kind of ropes. On the map, there was a passage with a question on it that nobody has gone through. We just wanted to go in there and to see how far we could get. The entrance to the first passage was about 30 feet below the surface. At the beginning, it was pretty much clear. But this mud from the rock was coming off, so behind us, the visibility was turning into zero. Saturday. Follow the struggle of two transsexual men as they risk everything to become female. Don't miss the premiere of Switching Sexes, The Aftermath. Saturday on Discovery Health Channel. 
follow unsung heroes saving lives. I'm gonna be in the back of the ambulance waiting for you. Paramedics, next on Discovery Health Channel. The cave was very much more complex than we thought at the beginning. I got to a place where there was a big chamber. Gustavo! I heard Gustavo coming out from the water, but I could not see him. We talked through the walls, and I said that we better go back, because if we continue to go into the cave, we were not going to be so sure which was the way out. I was swimming toward what I thought was the entrance. I found myself in a dead end. I finally realized that I was lost. I didn't think about Gustavo at that moment. After a while, I thought uh, a big chamber. And I knew that I was outside. I said, why are you asking me if Gustavo's here? Gustavo is with you. And he says, no, we got lost at the entrance. I was shocked. So I said, you go back and find him. Because he must be right there. Gustavo had all the ropes, so we made a line, probably in between 10 and 15 feet. Ricardo hauled one end, and I hauled the other, and I went below as long as the rope let me go. We waited like 10 minutes. Eduardo comes back again, and for my surprise, he says, it's too murky. The water is almost mud, and I cannot find the entrance. And I said, this is the end of it, you know? It's like, like a switch. I was turned off. M my life just stopped right there. Gustavo! Ellos entran. They went in with a tank of oxygen to make noise under the water to see if Gustavo could hear the noise and find his way out. But Gustavo didn't come out. By that time, it was too dark to leave. We sat there, and nobody said a word until the sun came out. Every minute that went on was uh, a minute against his life. And the bottom of my heart, I thought that he was, he was gone. Next, step inside the command center where the calls for help are answered and meet the real life heroes who save lives. Stay tuned for another episode of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel, real life. Medicine Miracles. Mr. Shapiro, step out of the car, please.